Hello, welcome to another Burgundy with Tweedy video. Back in my cellar again, I'm messing around with the lighting. Hopefully, uh, I don't know, perhaps this will work slightly better. Another bottle from that order that I made with Davies Wine. I bought a mixed case of six different Burgundies from them. How visible is that label going to be? Have I finally solved this problem of terrible lighting, not being able to see the labels when I'm down here? This is a Nuit Saint-Georges. The vintage label is coming off a bit, but it is a 2018. And the producer is... I'm not even quite sure how to pronounce that. Digioia Royer. I'm probably bungling the pronunciation of that and it is a named vineyard I don't think it was a premier crew was it was a named vineyard which is Les Chamois mm. nice sort of almost port like whiff to the cork there really dense berry fruit on the cork of course as we often know the um the smell of the cork and the smell of the wine often have very little in common I would say the nose is, <laughs> this is, this is going to sound ridiculous, but the nose is slightly grapey. <laughs> it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's fruit, but not, not obviously the usual cherries or black currant. Hmm, quite dry on the palate initially. Not an abundance of fruit there actually. It's a little bit more savoury perhaps than I might have expected does have quite a nice weight to it. Relatively silky-ish sort of mouthfeel, but, but that is tempered a bit by almost slightly abrasive tannic finish. I can feel a sort of roughness on my tongue after that. I'm trying to pin down that fruit character. Unusual fruit-wise, I almost, I almost want to say melon in there amongst various other things. Yeah, sort of grapey, melon. There's obviously some kind of red berry fruit there, but it's again, not obviously cherry or blackcurrant. I should note once again, I'm, I'm I'm sitting here in my cellar and I've said many times before, this is perhaps not an ideal place to nose wine because there's all this background mustiness. It's interesting. I certainly wouldn't say I'm immediately disappointed. I'm confused as much as anything else. I'm stuck finding it slightly hard to pin that one down. There are some things I like about it though. Nice weight. The first part of the mouthfeel, very appealing. Later on, as I say, it goes at slightly sort of tannic abrasiveness. And the nose is interesting, but difficult to pin down. Perhaps I need to have a glass of this outside. Outside now, let's give this another nosing, see if it presents differently without the mustiness of my cellar. Yeah, so again, I, I can't help but think about melon, weirdly. That's a very strange fruit note to find in red burgundy, something you might expect to find in white wines, perhaps, occasionally. Something like that, sort of gala melon, not, not so much watermelon. Yeah, un unusual, that, as a, as a fruit note. And yes, that very dry, quite savoury palette. Wouldn't say this is my ideal style of burgundy, but you know, as a as a one-off for something a bit different, it's kind of interesting and um, not too bad. Not a massive disappointment. Cheers.